Today's leg day. We're gonna do squats, Bulgarian split squat. Then we're gonna do Nordic curls. Then we'll get on the machines where we'll do some leg curls and leg extensions. And then we'll finish off with some calf raises and then we'll be done. Squats are gonna take a while though. Again, it's gonna be five by five as with all my compound lifts. It's really good for like building strength and muscle. And today we'll be talking about a few series I've been watching recently, mainly silo, low key. So yeah, we'll talk about those three or we'll do some lifting. These are the discs I use to elevate my heels. That's the sneaker position I use. Just a stance. I don't, yeah, I don't do narrow squats. I gotta do wide because my hips. And I can get quite deep like that. So yeah, that's what I do. All right, let's start loading up. Now some clips. Up's done. All right, here we go again. Here we go again. 110 for five, for five. Up in front, down and back. Sometimes this gets in the way when I'm squatting. So let's just make sure it's fine. Yeah, I like that. I think it's getting even a bit loose to be honest. This diet's doing me good. All right, let's do it. Stop being a bitch. And my shoulders are sore from fucking yesterday and Monday. So resting this on that's gonna be a bitch. All right. All right, set up nicely. First few reps weren't that deep, but now I got deep enough before for the fifth one. That was tough. Not as bad as last week though. I don't feel as bad. It was tough. Big boy was always going to be tough, but I don't feel as bad as I did last week, which is good. Still got energy, which I will need because I've got four more of those fuckers to do. But me, literally nothing. Literally fucking nothing. It's perfectly fine. No twinge, no ache, no nothing. Back from the water break, I think it's time to go again. Down in front, up and back. Just make sure that's comfortable. Yeah, that's good. That's good. All right, round two. Lift. One more. 
That last one wasn't shit. I didn't think I'd get a fifth one. That was a whole rep. My butt, stuck, my butt stuck out. And I was hinging as I was lifting. So that's not good. You need to maintain. You want your chest and your bum to come up at the same time. You don't like your bum to come up first and then that. That's not good. So I'll try and, we'll try and watch out for that one. But that was fucking tough. I am sweating. Oh, squats always make me sweat. Squats and deadlifts. I was hoping because I had more energy it would make it more easy because I've done this later in the day and I've eaten some carbs before I came. And I do generally feel better, but I do not feel like I have more strength, which is fair. I'm on a diet, so I'm not bulking. So that's not gonna get easier, realistically. Makes sense, but uh, I was kind of hoping for that and it's not come to pass. So we'll suck it up and we'll carry on doing it anyway. I can't wait to start the Lord of the Rings rewatch over Christmas. Looking, to, uh, looking forward to seeing Aragorn, Boromir, Legolas and Glimly and all the little Shire folk. There's three almost perfect films, man. Return of the King goes on a bit long, but there are three near perfect films. Two Towers, obviously the best one. I remember being in the cinema and literally, because I thought it was the last scene, and because I was younger, I was just like, always wanted to get out. I must have got off my seat at least four or five times within the last half an hour, thinking, okay, that's the last scene, let's go. Oh, no, still more. Okay, all right. Okay, they're all bowing to the Shire folk. Okay, time to go. Oh, no, 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 all right, cool, all right, yeah. All right, they come back. All right, he's writing the book. Okay, that's probably the final scene. Okay, oh, no, 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 no. All right, they're saying goodbye in the boats. Who's gonna carry the boats? Yeah, tearful, all right, yeah, that's really, yeah, no, that's, that's good, that's good. Okay, final scene, let's go, nope. And then Sam goes back, so fucking hell, mate. It just goes on a bit too long. That's just a, just a bit too long by like half an hour. But everything else, everything else is just so good. I tried watching the, uh, the Amazon Lord of the Rings. I lost the two episodes, it was so boring. It was so fucking boring. I didn't really like what they were doing with any of the characters. Didn't really like Gladri Gladriel. It's rubbish, mate. Nothing in comparison. Even The Hobbit, as much as I don't like it. It's not that I don't like them, it's just that I don't like them as much as the... I saw all of them in the cinema. I've seen all six in the cinema. But obviously the first trilogy is way better. Second one, not as good. Still got this. Still got some good bits, but not as good. But uh, yeah, the, uh, the Amazon series was just a no-go for me. That was just boring off rip. That was so bad. Anyway, let's get back to it. Three left. This is a safety announcement. Immediate action requires full court alarm activated in the all-inclusive changing room. <sighs> One. <sighs> Two. Three. Four, one more, one more, come on, one more. One more, come on. One more, come on. Come on. That was a bit better. My butt didn't stick out as much. Although, I didn't get depth in the first rep. But two, three, four, five were good. I think 115 is when I'm gonna start like, not being able to do five reps. I'll probably hit the first one for three or four, but I think from next week is when I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to start using those motherfuckers over there. Every week when I do it though, when I get to that end of that fifth set, and you've done it all, there's almost no better feeling just because you've done, you've pushed yourself that hard. You're battered and you're broken, but you've pushed yourself that fucking hard, so it's just like, oh, let's go. Let's go. I think Marvel What If is going to start soon. And then dropping an episode every day, I believe. 
So that should be fun. Lo series one was fucking sick. I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. That was really awesome. The Ultron episode, because they had the Ultron episode, but then it went on to like the final episode as well. That was fucking sick. So interested to see what they're gonna do for season two. But yeah, no, I'm really excited. They've even got a Die Hard-esque episode with uh, Iron Man's main guy. So that should be quite fun. Love a good animation. X-Men 97 is coming back as well. But interested to see what kind of art style they have for that. But yeah, what if season two? That's definitely on the watch list. There's so many things, just because I'm not like smoking weed while I'm on this diet, because I get the munchies otherwise. There's so many things I'm putting on the back burner for when I do start smoking again, but that's not gonna be one of them. I've kind of like paused Rick and Morty. I watched up until like he beat the shit out of Rick Prime, which I thought was a weird move, because I thought that'd be like a final episode, but they moved up to like the middle of the season. But uh, I hear the last three have been, the last four or three have been quite good. I've got a lot of stuff to watch when I start blazing. Ever blazing. Ah, dare I say, I think it's time to go again. Down in front, up in back. <sighs> One. Two. Three, come on. Four. Last one, you pussy, come on. Last one, you fucking pussy, come on. Thank you. So I'm definitely weaker than last week for sure. Man, that was the first time that's happened. I just didn't have the energy, man. I thought I had it. I should have paused longer between that fourth and the fifth one. Got a bit more of my breath back, but I didn't have it, man. I did not have it. I did not have it. I'm gonna try to go for three. If I feel comfortable, I'll go for four, but I don't think I've got five in me. I don't think I've got five. I should get someone to spot me, but uh, I don't think there's anyone strong enough to not hurt themselves if that happens again. Fucking hell. Kind of happy I got that on camera, but also very pissed off I didn't make it. I made it last week. I did this five for five last week. It was horrible. I felt weak as shit, but I did it. This week I feel a bit stronger. Even like the first three on that set, I felt like, oh, all right, this is going better than me. This is going better than I thought. But yeah, that's just, that was surprising. That was very surprising. So yeah, maybe PRs during intermittent of fasting is not the one. I don't know, I think I might. I think Montana's my max while I'm cutting. I think that's my max because even eating before I get here, going later in the day when I've got more energy, and apparently I'm weaker. So I think 1.5 is probably gonna be my max while I'm cutting. But when I'm maintaining or bulking, I think we'll try and increase. But just for safety's sake, I think, uh, I think 1.5, 105, I'll probably stick around there. I don't wanna start bulking, we'll, we'll bump that number up, fingers crossed. But uh, yeah, that was scary. Like people have died doing that. There's a guy who's literally died squatting too much, broke his neck. Similar fashion to what I do, to what I just did. Oh man, that was not good. That was not good. But we are gonna go again. We are most definitely gonna go again. This is why you do squats in one of those racks where you got safeties, which I will be doing. Well, 105, I could, yeah. And I can handle 105. So I might just stay here until I finish cutting. But uh, always want to do them in a 
specifically designated squat racks with the safeties. Fuck me. Knee's starting to feel a bit achy. Not too much, it's fine. Let's do it. Okay. All right. All right, we're done. Next Bulgarian split squats, yay. Bulgarian split squats. Now these are used traditionally to glow, grow your glutes. I use them to load up my quads and it's kind of good for loading the knees if you don't go down too far, which I'm not going to. But yeah, Bulgarian split squats are what we're going to do with 30s. Oh, sorry, you can walk, you can walk with a good girl in, so. <laughs> Invented it, it's called Bulgarian, I don't know. But yeah, split squats, Bulgarians, whatever you want to call them, they're shit. As in they hurt. Let's go again. I'm doing five reps per set because after squats, I can't max out on Bulgarians, especially on the cut. I'm starting to realise I can't go as hard on the cut as I do on my bolt, which obviously makes so much sense. But it never like clicked. Basically, up until that, it's never clicked. Now I'm just like reevaluating everything. Like, oh yeah, actually, you cut, you lose less mass, but it takes mass to move mass. So I think I have to like gauge what my optimal strength is, and maybe just hit just a bit under that when I'm cutting. Just like maintain muscle mass. Uh, PSA, if you do have a boyfriend or girlfriend you come to the gym together, it's nice, it's nice, but trying to rub it in everyone's faces. Some of us are proudly alone, and we like it that way. <coughs> mm. I'm of course joking, do what you want. I'm just miserable and bitter inside. Whew. One more set left and then we can do some Nordic curls, which I'm actually liking more and more. I wish I started doing them more because in addition to the warm-up, they also help my knees. My knees are pretty good now. This one's slightly achy. I can feel the tendon a bit achy, but I do those and it's just like, oh, actually, no, this is perfectly fine now. My knees are like, oh, thank you. So we give the hammies a workout and then it's onto the machines. That will be the free weight section of the day done. All right, last set. Let's go. Let's do it. Stop being a bitch. And we're done. All right, I'm gonna set up the uh, Nordic curls because I've got to use like a whole fuck ton of 15s. So that's gonna take a while to set up, but I'll show you the setup when I'm done. So see you in a bit. All right, so this is the Nordic curl setup. My feet go under there, my knees go under there, and I'm basically on a slow eccentric going all the way down. You're meant to go down and come back up, but that's for like the final master level. For now, I'm just trying to like control my eccentrics. So yeah, you'll see that in a second. But this is what the setup looks like.
katanya oh. yeah. this shit is not easy but yeah basically it's training the hamstrings um aim is to go as slowly as possible but i get to about there and it's a family guy fall so i mean the angle used to be a lot worse i.e a lot shorter a lot more cute technical term but um yeah this is an annoying exercise because maybe out of a set of five i'll do one maybe two reps good i've only been doing them for four weeks no three weeks so it is what it is the warm-up exercise where i like lean back i've been doing that for months and months and as you saw when i did it properly like I, I didn't i didn't hinge on my hips i just came back i was come back a lot more which surprised me because i've never tried to do it before no i tried to do it once before when i first started doing it and i couldn't get even like a small angle like my knees blew up immediately but as you saw i was able to get like a considerable way back so these things they're, they're time they're time orientated you've just got to carry on doing them doing them doing them doing them. and eventually you'll get really good but that's everything practice makes plus perfect was the thing Ten thousand hours it's all skill it's all technique so yeah and plus i do wonders for my knees i can come to this exercise with really sore knees but then I'll do three sets of these and there'll be almost the right of rain. So I should, I should, yeah. So I should spam these out more than once a week. I want to start bulking. I will start doubling up. But um, yeah, I think when I start bulking, I'm going to start training the groups as soon as I'm not tired. So right now I've got like a four day split, but I'm going to start bulking as soon as like chest is healed. So my chest takes like four so my chest takes four to five days to heal by friday this is a sore now it's like especially the middle bit it's sore now but by friday it should be gone so i think i'm just going to start training muscle groups as soon as they're not tired i kind of do that with arms at the moment i've got arm day on thursday but then sunday i do another set of arms just because they're not fatigued anymore so yeah I do like success though. It's very, very, it takes a fuck of a lot to set up, but it's really, it's a nice exercise. All right, let's get it. I finally get to the gym later in the day or later in the morning, which means workouts go on till one, maybe two, which is not good. I really need to like get here early like I used to do, but I don't. I mean, I've got no work on at the moment. Industry is quiet, so I have no need to get here too early. And plus it works out with intermittent fasting. I don't want to be at home after a gym, not being able to eat. I like getting home and then being able to eat ASAP. All right, last up. See if I can anchor my ankles properly. If you can get like a good position for your ankles and get them locked in, it provides so much more. It provides a better anchor, but they need to be a good position. Let's get it. Ooh, that was nice. That was nice. I like that. <sighs> Oh, yeah, that first one took it all out. See, get one or two good ones, and then the rest are just shit. Two more. Ah. 
you've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. <laughs> Oh, fuck. That first one was good. I like that first rep. I like that first rep. That was good. The rest, not so much. Oh, all right. Leg curls, I believe. Let's get it. All right, so now we are going the other way with the uh, hammies. We are curling as opposed to extensions. I swear, this is also called a curl, but I guess that's where the Nordic comes in. <sighs> So yeah, lying let go. Not a huge fan of this. My fucking ass in the air. Literally asking for it. Pause. But uh, yeah, gonna try and go for 10. I think I managed seven last time. We're on 64. So yeah, wish me luck. All right, let's get it. nine which is two more than last week so we'll see what the other sets are like but i'm happy with that very happy with that my hammies are going to be feeling it tomorrow slash thursday friday all other things i'll watch oh low-key season two one of three good series from marvel marvel's fallen downhill man and everyone knows it so that happens when you try and fucking force social justice shit into entertainment and that's coming from me uh former marvel officiado i would automatically watch anything they used to put out but recently, like, even now I'll wait for reviews because I'm not sure it's gonna be good. The last thing I watched without question was Ant-Man and that was so fucking shit. That was so bad. The effects were bad. The acting wasn't terrible, but the way they wrote Ant-Man's daughter, like she was really nice in the first one. She like, was a different actress. Well, they've had three different actresses for her, but this one was just so fucking annoying. They wrote her to be like a grade A, I want to say cunt, but that's probably a bit rude. I'm not talking about the list, I'm not talking about the actress, just like the character itself. She was such a useless know-it-all. She wants to help people. Bitch, your aunt has got a multi-million pound company and she's helping people. Why don't you help her? Fuck. It was so bad. And then like, yeah, Kang's meant to be the main villain, but then you defeat Kang. So he's not that fucking threatening then, is he? It was, it was bad. It was bad. That was the last thing. After that, I was like, all right, fine. From now on, I'm waiting for the reviews because this is just a pile of bullshit. It's the last thing, that's the last thing I watched just because it had the Marvel brand on it. I didn't watch Secret Invasion because I waited for the reviews and lo and behold, it was also shit. Thank God I didn't waste my time with that one. But Loki, out of all the series, WandaVision and Loki are the two best ones. WandaVision was just brand new. They were doing something new, like it was, it was awesome. It was really good. The ending was a bit meh, but all in all, it was really, really good. Loki, Loki, season one and two. I think season one's probably a bit better, but season two is still really, really good. They've really, they've literally sped run Loki through the hero's journey. Like he's, he's been there for what? A couple of weeks in the TVA? And he's now like the goodest of the good guys. He's got his own Idrisil. He's found this purpose, his glorious purpose. No, he smashed it, man. I, I like it a lot. Fuck, what's the actor's name? Wow. Oh, don't let me forget his name. It's, uh, hold on. Owen Wilson. Owen Wilson. I really like him in like both seasons and like he gets to go back and like be the family man in season two. I really like, oh yeah, I don't know. Everyone in this is really, really cool. That clock is fucking weird as fuck. That was like unsettling. I want to be a god. Weird. 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 Um, but yeah, no, the pacing in season two starts off a bit slow, but then by episode three, it gets into gear. And when I say it's a bit slow, it's not like, it's not like a uh, unwatchable. It's definitely watchable. It's just noticeably slower than season one but still good um yeah Renslayer's fucking awesome the other loki that loki's in love with the female one she's fucking sick like it's acted really well it's acted really really well so i would say definitely check that out both seasons um yeah i can't really say enough good things about it man it's like one of the only good things coming out of marvel at the moment and they need as many dubs as they can because they are going downhill along with the rest of disney it is what it is but anyway back to sets back to sets back to sets Eight. So we're definitely doing more than last week. Definitely getting the reps in, but as always, it's tough as fuck. Loki season two was awesome. I really liked it. I like the way it ended in like that Idrisil-esque 
time tree, I guess. Timeline's made into a tree. Makes sense to like, it does make sense to make his own Idris, so there's a lot of like symbolism for trees throughout the whole season, so. It's really well done. The camera work is really good as well. Really dynamic, kept you engaged. Um, yeah, it was good. I liked it. Really, really well done. All right, let's get it done. People want to use it. Can't be talking about movies when people want to use the equipment. All right. Leg extensions, let's go. So yeah, leg extensions. I didn't hit record, so I just did one set. Gonna try, we're on 52 kg for 10, for three. Three for 10, let's go. Set. We've got 10 10. Let's see if we can do one more set of 10s. Let's see if we can do one more. And then calf raises, and then we'll be done. So it turns out I didn't press record and I've chatted all this shit about silo which I'm gonna have to do again. So here goes. I hate having to like redo stuff, which I've had to do like three times now because I keep complaining to press record. Silo from, I want to say Apple TV, I'm not Amazon. Starring Rebecca Ferguson, Common, um, the one of the ladies from Parks and Recreation. Rashida Jones. Her name's Rashida Jones. Um, another black actor that I forgot the names of. His name is David Oyelowo. David Oyelowo. But when I don't say names, I'm really bad with names, guys. I'm sorry. I'm really bad with names. So, yeah, really, really good. Um, I would definitely check it out. Uh, the plot's fucking awesome. You're in this, like, massive structure. The rest of humanity, what well, left of humanity is there in this massive silo. They're all working to like survive. No one's been outside in hundreds of years, but they do send people outside to effectively die. They give them a hazmat suit, but like they all die. And like there's a cleaning tradition, blah, blah, blah. But um, yeah, standout is obviously Rebecca Ferguson. She's fucking awesome. She's so good. She's, I'm really loving her, man. In June, she's good. Here, yeah, she's good. A couple of, there's a couple of things we've seen in Rebecca that don't come to mind at the moment, but she's fucking awesome. Common's another standout. He's really good. I'm really liking him as an actor. I first saw him in a film called Smoking Aces. I believe I want to say Smoking Aces with uh, Ryan Reynolds and a whole host of other people. That was a Tarantino-esque movie, like a lot of like interweaving storylines. So that was fucking awesome. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I think I saw him in Smoking Aces, and he was really, really good there. So I would say he's definitely underrated, I reckon, as an actor. But they've had so many like rappers. They haven't had so many rappers turn actors, but a lot of them have tried and a lot of them have failed. And he's one of the few who actually has the talent to like cross over quite well. Um, yeah. But that aside, Silo's fucking good. I'd give it like a nine out of ten for season one. But because I'm an impatient little bitch, I read ahead because it's based on books. So I Google what happens in the books, basically. A little quick synopsis, so I kind of know what happens because I'm a dick. But um, the next two series should be quite good. But at this series, straight 9 out of 10. Definitely check it out. It's well worth it, man. I'm eagerly awaiting season two. I'm hoping I can get to work on season two before they finish filming. There's filming just outside of London, not more somewhere. So I'm going like, to try and track down who's keying that and jump on that. I doubt I'll be able to, but fingers crossed. But yeah, no. Silo season two. Everyone's about what it's got. Andy Dufresne from a uh, short chunk redemption. Tim Robbins. His name is Tim Robbins. He's such a sick. But okay, I mean it's probably too hard to say spoilers, but spoilers. Um, he's really, really, really good. 
It's like, is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? Then he's like, oh wait, no, he's definitely a bad guy. But what, is he a good guy? No, definitely a bad guy. He's awesome, man. I like him. He's really, really good. He's really, I've seen him in like one other thing before where he plays another good guy, but this is like the first bad guy role I've seen him in. And he is really menacing. He is, when he wants to be, he is fucking menacing. So yeah, Silo, nine out of 10. But last set. What did this guy do? All right. short for me <sighs> all right that's it for leg day sorry for the fuck up on this exercise I didn't hit record so you only get to see one set out of three I promise you I did do three tomorrow we've got arm day and then I get to fucking rest for the rest of the week and start editing all this shit together so yeah but let me know what you think in the comments I'd love to know drop an L on this if you like it, if not, you can always jog on. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.